Hello guys, happy Sister Sunday. So, today I want to talk to you about something that I don't think enough people talk about. Not even just like on social media now, like I mean in general. And that is the concept of failure. Yeah, it's a funny one, like it's quite subjective, you know, I could do something and then be like, yes, I smashed it, well done, Erin. And then someone else could do the exact same thing with the exact same results and be like, I'm a failure, you know? So it's a very much about your internal standards. Yes, it's a tricky one because, you know, as British Asians or as, you know, children of ethnic minority parents, second generation, etc., we are surrounded by extremely, extremely high standards, which means that there's an extremely high risk of failure. With that being said, if failure is subjective, how do we go about changing the definition of failure or the perception of failure by the people who are the ones who are ultimately judging us, our parents, our grandparents, you know, our peers, etc. And that's a really tough question. Thinking about our failures, I think will make it so much better. Like, guys, I've been fired from a job before when I was 19 years old. I, I've like, I've so badly flopped an exam. And when I mean flopped, I mean like I got like a D or something like that. If I can share them with like 20,000 of you right now, you can share them. We need to normalize the notion of failure. We need to redefine what failure means in our culture. The more we talk about it, the more we can all learn from each other's mistakes and succeed together. As you can see, I'm clearly very, very passionate about the subject. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm also losing light. Um, but listen, I love you guys. Um, you're doing really good. If someone hasn't told you that today and mwah.